Two at five o'clock, an illegal trap set just feet away from where children play badly hurt this raccoon, forcing animal services to put it down. The tenders reporter Kristen Keo found out that hunting down these traps for the owner may be impossible. My primary position would want to be first base. Justin Tarantino has big plans to be a big league player. So at nine years old, he spends a lot of time here at Tecolote Baseball Field with his dad, Frank. That's really scary. Frank finds it alarming that someone is setting illegal traps, like the one that cost this raccoon's life, so close to where his son and so many other kids play. You know, a child loses a, a foot or a hand, his life has changed. That's a gopher trap. David Miser of Corky's Pest Control said this trap was likely meant for a smaller critter and that legal traps catch animals without hurting them. They actually go in, we set up a can of food down here at this end. They actually step on this metal plate and it drops the drawer. State law requires the traps be checked every 24 hours so any critters caught don't die of thirst or hunger. The state of California issues every trapper an identification number and on the trap, the identification number must be put on the trap. But this trap had no ID number and no way of tracking down whoever placed it. Frank hopes whoever's placing them will put kids safety before eliminating the pest problem. The city has always tried their best to, to get rid of the, the gophers. But for somebody to go on their own and not coordinate with the city, that's, you know, that's pretty uh, irresponsible. In Claremont, I'm Kristen Keogh, 10 News. And the city says it is not their trap. Animal Services says that so far just one trap has been found.